G'day, hi and welcome. Alright, I have done something I've never done to the van before, ever. I cleaned it. So I did the dry cleaning to get the worst stuff. It actually doesn't look too bad. Uh, we're going to get to that stuff in a second. An honest review here. Uh, the sun went behind the clouds, but that might be better. So that's just like basically a wet sponge just taking off the grimy, grimy stuff. And the reason why you want to do that too, if you're going to restore a vehicle, well, maybe not restore or repair a vehicle, you can see where, oh, okay, look, you got this hole here. You got this. Uh, you're going to find stuff. Oh, hey, look at this. You know, that's one thing that you get with cleaning your vehicle. I got most of the mud off the, the not tailgate, but the, the back bumper, I guess. Uh, I mean, it's not clean, clean. You can still see the streaks and everything, but it's cleaner. Uh, I did the roof too. There was like all kinds of pollen on there and that stuff is, is acetic -y, so like you can see like where the paint's tarnishing here. So, you know, a lot of people, okay, they, they see the rust like that. Okay, I'm going to go after the rust like that, no problem. Um, they do that and then, you know, after they're all done the body work, then they start seeing little bits here and, uh, you know, spot there and, uh, you know, like little stuff that, okay, geez, I could have got it when, uh, you know, chip here or whatever. You know, I want to get all it all at once. And uh, oh, hey, look at this. There's a rust in here. Go in there with some tester paint or something like that. Yeah, you can make it look really, really good. Now, what I did with the front here, I don't know if it'll come out on camera. Oh, yeah, it does. Oh, good. Okay, can you tell which side got the polish? Let's see. Is it this side? Yes, it is. Or this side? That actually came out better than I thought. Uh, just a dry sponge I'm using. I bought this stuff for my motorbike. And I lost my uh, my buffing pad. But uh, Cleaner polish. Made by iPhone. Or iPhone. iPhone Racing Development. This stuff seems to be pretty good. It's like any polish. You just spray it on a little bit. And you wipe it. You know, you wipe it till it's dry. Now, if I grab, go grab my King Canada buffer, uh, it's got a really, really... This van has never, ever, 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 ever been this shiny uh, since we've owned it. Uh, so my mom would be proud of this thing, I think, right now. You know, this was her last vehicle, and she never did this. So, ha, huh, there you go. But it, the stuff, this is just a quick, you know, like not even two minutes, and uh, a rubbing, and, and wow, look at the difference. Uh, I mean, let's see the test so yeah you can see you could yeah you know so that's pretty good not as good not as good so yeah so this stuff seems to work and it goes on pretty easy to spray on but you got like it like most of these things you got to kind of work quick you gotta basically Put it on before it all evaporates. You just like that. That's probably too much. Just put on a little bit at a time, and then just get it everywhere as quickly as possible. Okay, just for the preliminary, and then then once it's all spread, then you can take your time drying it off and uh, make it look good. Am I going to do the entire van? Actually, yeah, eventually. I'm not going to do it all today. It's too hot and. I want to work on the boat a little bit today too, and I'm waiting for it to, the afternoon so the boat's in the shade a bit, and then I'll go back to the boat. Ah, that's it, scratch the hood. See, other things are going to have to do touch up there. But just little things like this. Now, there's a little thing, especially if you're a guy like me that has an old beater. Okay, this is going to be a little trick that my friends and I have proven several times. A dirty vehicle vs. a non-dirty vehicle. A dirty vehicle that makes a lot of noise and is loud will attract a police officer. And you will get pulled over and you will get a roadside DOT check, meaning safety check, roadside. And he'll tell you if he's having a good day, whether you get to go, live to drive another day, or that that thing's going to be impounded on the spot. Now what attracts it, even if you can't hear it, a clean vehicle is less likely to get pulled over. I'm sure there's a statistic that's going to prove this somewhere. Uh, I don't have any proof on it, but I'm pretty sure it is. And I'll tell you why. Because if somebody, oh, hey, it's an old beater vehicle, but look at how clean it is. I mean, hey, you can see, I can see my face. It's not coming out quite as well on, there you can see, you can see me. You know, it's like, okay, we'll stand back, have a look. Oh, wow, even got a shiny spot. Oh, 
That looks pretty good, eh? In comparison to the rest of the paint. That looks really good. And it just a little goes a long way. Now, if it's clean, you're less likely to draw attraction, uh, uh, you know, attention to it. It's not going to be a show car. Uh, actually, right now, the angle that you're seeing, it actually looks better on the camera than it does in real life. So, but it looks better. It looks better. But the other thing, too, is uh, when it's clean and smooth, okay, you still feel rough pitting on that. Like that, it's, this is a 16-year-old paint job, so, you know, it's not going to last that much longer. You can start to see little pinholes are starting to pop through. Right here on the hood, all that there is going to pop through pretty soon. So, for me, if I could just keep it a little bit more, I mean, had that been uh, polished up from day one, when it was new, the paint job would still look good. But it's tarnished over years. Again, my goal isn't a show car. My goal is keep it on the road for another, at least until I could save up for another vehicle. And then, I'm like, well, if I'm going to put a little money in it, I have to, it's all or none. It's an all or none uh, deal. So, anyway, that's, that's, the, uh, that's the polish review. Uh, the stuff seems to work okay. I'm happy with it. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll, again, you get the buffer on there. That's just what I did by hand. So you get the buffer on there. That, that's really going to really polish it up nice. Uh, my buffer's kind of broke. Well, everything I have is broken, breaking down, or about to break down. Everything I have is in need of dire repairs at some point. But I do got the plates on this, so I was able to, in the 11th hour, save it from uh, being pulled off the road. I didn't know. My dad, my dad was like, hey, he goes, I had a hunch you were going to probably want to put it back on the road. So he didn't pull the plate off of it. Whereas when I parked it last year, I thought that was it. And, I, you know, I still don't have the money, but I'm like, okay, well, I don't care if it, to, to, to get $1,500, uh, roughly is what I'm estimating, uh, to fix all the, the, the brakes, the, the, uh, the windshield, the muffler, those things, you know, like if I fixed everything that this thing needs, it'd probably be about four or five grand. Is it worth it? Absolutely not. But one thing about $1,500 into this, it's all new suspension, you know, like, uh, not sports stuff, but you know, it'll roll it down the road for a little, little bit longer. It still runs pretty good. But the other thing is, is there's 180,000 kilometers on this van, 16 years old. You put that money into it, you, you come out and you turn the key one day and it throws a piston through the, uh, <laughs> like my friend's van did. So there's no guarantees. The way I'm looking at it is I'm burning money right now. I'm just burning it and taking a gamble. But it's all I can afford. Uh, my brother's car is there. I'll show you my brother's car. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do a little interview review of my brother's car. I'm not going to tell him. I'm just going to do it and... I do stuff like that to my brother all the time anyway. But anyway, uh, we'll leave it at that and we'll, we'll talk about this thing in a, in a moment. But doesn't that look good? A little bit of elbow grease. Not bad, eh?